Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Someone cooking up some... Some sausage? Maybe a couple breasts, perhaps? I think what it is is that Netflix just cooked up another season of sizzling singles. And may I just say, bon appetit. Sorry, sorry for that. A new season of Too Hot to Handle just dropped on Netflix. This show is on season four now, which means it lives amongst the ranks of shows and media properties that have been renewed at least three times. Good. If you're not familiar with the show, uh, they bring a whole bunch of sexy, sexed up singles into a house together, and then they reveal a catch. The catch is that they cannot hook up. <gasps> or else they lose money for everyone. Oh my God. And now I invite you to come with me on a journey through the first episode of season four. What is your name? I'm Domini. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Thank I love you. it. What's yours? I'm Britain. Wow. Like the country, but spelled better. <laughs> <laughs> Speed run on how to just insult an entire nation of people in 1.5 seconds. That was crazy. Like, my name is Britain, like the country, but spelled better. <laughs> And then all of the UK was like, what? What'd she just say? Oh, piss off. Oh, she's off a wee willy bit. Uh, I don't know. So, you know, something British. I can imagine the next guy being like, yo, good to meet you, Britain. My name is Canada. <laughs> yeah, like the country, but spelled better. <laughs> With fours instead of A's. Yeah, like a gamer tag, exactly. <laughs> some people are addicted to Adderall. Some people are addicted to tobacco. I'm addicted to sex. <sighs> that was awesome. I'm addicted to sex. It's funny that she's admitting to something that like destroys people's lives. Like sex addiction can be a serious fucking thing, you know? But like the editing is all like fun and the context makes it seem like fun and cool. <laughs> some people are addicted to alcohol. Some people are addicted to gambling. But me, I'm addicted to huffing keyboard duster. <laughs> I can't stop eating glue. <laughs> it's killing me. My parents don't know what to do. <laughs> you better watch out, because when I'm in that house, I'm going to eat all the glue I can find. And I'm going to huff all the keyboard duster. Oh! <laughs> I met this guy, and he looked at me dead in the eye and was like, I'm going to make love to you. I almost vomited. I can just imagine what was going through that dude's head when that happened. <laughs> He's like, they're getting undressed. He's like, holy fuck, this is really going to happen. She's hot. This is sick. I'm, I'm gonna make love to you. She's like, uh, no, ew. Walks away. And he's like, wait, where are you going? No, I, 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 I could be dirty. I could say dirty stuff. Like, we're gonna, I'm, a, I'm gonna frick you. Oh yeah, I wanna fr frick your pee pee. Frick your puss. Frick your puss. <laughs> yeah, maybe this wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but I learned how to spray tan a woman. Sometimes you get the women to like lift them up and you just quick reach. And you know what that means, mate. You get to see their boobs. Yeah, mate. There's nothing better than big boobs. <laughs> the way to take the perfect selfie, I feel like, is tilt your head. That's it. One step. Fuck yeah. Let's try it without, without tilting my head. Okay, now let's try it. Head tilted. Holy shit. Holy shit, that does work. I live in Hawaii and I offer the vacation penis package. The vacation penis package. That's like not even, not even like witty at all. Like what is that joke even? The vacation penis package. Someone walking up to guest services at the hotel. Yeah, is there is there some sort of like penis package that we could add on? It's so stupid. I can't even like make a joke about it. Love your necklaces and oh, stuff you got there. You. The necklaces are kind of giving me like a spiritual vibe. Oh, Do you use that sexually? I might have, and I I promise nothing. <laughs> This season fucking rocks already. This season kicks ass. I love your puka shells. Are you religious by any chance? Um, yes, actually, I am a devout Christian. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you ever huff duster in like a God honoring way by chance? Huh, I'm not gonna, I can't say whether or not I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was that scene, but my version. You know what else is fucking hot? 
going to see a live show. Hey guys, I'm going to take a steaming hot break real fast to thank the sizzling sponsor of this video. And that's SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are over 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek. And that includes sports, concerts, festival, and more. Anything you can imagine. I got the app on my phone right here and I am certainly excited to see... Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, John Mulaney, Ricky Gervais. Plus, artists like Taylor Swift, Blink-182, and Ed Sheeran all just went on sale, so you're you're not gonna wanna miss out on those. SeatGeek wants to make sure that you're getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for the green dots. That means good deal, of course, and red dots means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return the tickets before the show with swaps. And you already know that I came through for you guys, all right? Because you can use my code, Cody Co, for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the code, Cody Co. Don't tell anyone, though. Just make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. It's our little secret. All right, back to the video. I'm Nick, and I'm a model, an artist. <laughs> It's so, man, they, they they just do these people so dirty sometimes with the editing. It's so entertaining. Like to have him list out all the things that he thinks he is, which is so funny already. What's up? My name is Matthew. I'm a model. I'm a poet. I'm a registered nurse and I'm an artist. And then to tag the fuckboy laugh on the end of that. And then it just cuts the footage of him painting circles on a canvas <laughs> like a fucking child. It's awesome. Something I love about these shows too is no matter how many of these come out. Now there's, you know, I've been doing this for like years now, reviewing these dating shows. There's 5,000 of them. It's always the exact same thing when other people walk in that they haven't met yet. They always have the same reaction. It's always like, <gasps> it's like, were, they, were you not expecting another contestant to walk in the house? Like, it's kind of like a requirement in order for a show like this to, to happen is people got to walk in and you got to meet them. <laughs> oh my god, she is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, she is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, it's another fucking person. You guys, it's another person. Holy shit. Two arms, two legs. Oh yeah, that's a human being, all right. Oh, you're telling me another person just joined this show about multiple people dating each other? Holy shit. Oh my god, I feel like someone is going to come out of the sea. I feel like... Yeah. My Michael B. Jordan is somewhere out there. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that another person is gonna walk through the house like all of you guys just did. And then and you're gonna act really surprised when someone does that. Cause you could act surprised. If someone came out of the water, you definitely then that those reactions will be warranted for sure. Then you could be like, oh my god, because like that'd be insane. It's like what, a merman fucking comes out of the sea? Like, holy fuck! Show is wild. I, w I would give you that then, you know? But I, I guarantee someone's gonna walk out of the house and you guys are gonna act like someone came out of the ocean. I'm a big dog. Oh my God! Yo, 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 abs, pecs. Yup, that's another human being for sure. Forget A-list, he just made every girl here's D-list. D-list. Oh! Uh, I think about sex every five seconds of the day. One, two, three, four. Missionary. Might be an illness. I love that these people just keep admitting to these addictions. Yo, seriously, like, it's a disease. <laughs> like, I need help. Every five seconds, it's like, one, two, three, four. Yo, that keyboard looks dirty. Somebody get the duster. <laughs> so the people are now all in the house, and they all think they're on a show called Wild Love, where, like, the you know, they have to fuck each other or something. But it's actually quite the opposite. I will give them credit, though. Uh, this season, they really did go all out making this seem like another show. They even got Mario Lopez as the fake host of the fake show. Fucking Mario Lopez. My boy ain't cheap. Each day, I'm gonna be sending you on a series of wild challenges designed to get the adrenaline pumping. I wonder what body parts adrenaline rushes are gonna be in. What? It's been scientifically proven that rushes of adrenaline can cause intense feelings of arousal and attraction. Ooh. I've made dating an extreme sport. Honestly, I would watch the shit out of that show. Like a show about people having to go on a date over a canyon or something like is a table like suspended over a canyon and they have to like connect with each other that's fucking genius 
or like on the side of a mountain, you know? Okay, so now for the next little bit, all the contestants, they talk about, they just sit around, the guys sit around, the girls sit around, they all talk about who they want to lick and suck and stuff like that. And then they explore the house. each one of you have had sex came out of fucking nowhere <laughs> they're all like whoa whoa this is so cool whoa this room is awesome yeah but where's the weirdest place that you guys have had sex <laughs> they're like what oh no uh no no i'm just saying like the peds are cool but like you know it's so this house is awesome but like seriously like what where is it what is what what happened describe it describe the smell <laughs> something i love about this first episode is that all the dudes all want one girl just one of the girls. And every single one of them is like, I got this in the bag, dude. She can't resist my charm, all right? All these other charming guys in the house, my charm is way more charmier than these guys, all right? Let me just say that. Sure, they might be hot and charming as well, but like, I am built different, okay? I'm gonna sneak in with Kayla first. I think I'm in there with Kayla, you know. I'm doing it. I'm horny. I'm definitely gonna get her because I am the horniest. And girls love dudes that are super, super overly horny. Not gonna lie, seeing James and Kayla, I'm getting a bit jealous. I'm gonna try to pull her aside for a chat. I've got the Aussie accent, signed, sealed, and delivered, mate. It's the Aussie accent. She'll be pulling those borbies out in no, no time, mate. I wanna suck on her bur borbs. Borbies. Let's see just how charming the Aussie accent can be. Creed is really handsome, but he isn't my go-to type of guy. But I love the Australian accent, so he might be able to change my mind. Damn it! It really does work. I want you to keep your options open, honestly. Okay. Can we make a promise on it? That I keep my options open? Yeah. Um, sick dude. I think you just had her agree to definitely see other people. Is that some kind of... Uno reverse game you're playing? I wanna see your burbs. But I also want the other guys to see your burbs. A car. Sorry, I'll stop with that. So then Nigel finally takes his turn because his game is unique, all right? And it's way better than these other guys. You work out a lot, yeah. You know I try to look good. Keep it tight. <laughs> Do the thing. What the thing? This? <laughs> <laughs> I got two words, man. W Riz. I know 90% of dudes watching this are like, the hell, man? He didn't even have to like say words there. I have to, I have to say words. It's like bare minimum. He flexes tits and she, she was in stitches, just in stitches at that. Why? Surely that's not all it takes, right? Surely he's got to put in a little more work. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, it worked. I guess it turns out his charm is way charmier than the other guys. He was right. Okay, so a kiss has been shared. The first spit has been swapped. I'm now more fired up than ever for them to find out what show they're actually on. I just, you know, I hope to God there's no super creepy yoga shot. Oh, damn it. Dude, this still, <laughs> look at his eyes. Why, what is this? Why is it the scariest thing I've ever seen? Dude, this shot right here, this shot, this could be the poster for the most horrifying movie of the year. I wouldn't even see this movie. I hate scary movies, I wouldn't see this. That's how much it scares me. All right, we got another kiss, cha-ching! Let's go! God, there's nothing better than a steaming hot kiss shared between two sizzling singles. Especially when you know that shit's about to be taken away. Oh, you guys kissing? You guys kissing? Sorry. 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 No more kissing. Sorry, guys. Let me just scoot in there. Let me just scoot. They're like, like lips are together right here. Mm. Sorry, can I just scoot in there? No more of that, okay? These sexy sinners are trading saliva like it's Bitcoin. Come on, that was bad. That was bad. Finally, now it's time for the reveal. The best part of this show, in my opinion. Finally, the bit I've been waiting for the whole show. Same, same, fucking same. We are on the same page, except for that fucking Bitcoin joke. Sucked ass. You know what's cool about this whole kind of fake out with the adrenaline challenge thing is that it, it's kind of, you know, it's, get, it's getting everyone's minds out of the gutter. You know what I mean? They're thinking more in the line of adventure and not as horny. What is the first challenge? Who can have sex the fastest? 
<laughs> ah, never mind. Who can have sex the fastest? That's an awesome challenge. What does that even mean? Who can start having sex in the shortest amount of time? Or maybe it's like most thrusts per minute? Or maybe it's who can run the fastest while having sex? Like who can have sex the fastest? <laughs> so then they realize what they have in their hands are like flight suits. So they're all like, oh fuck, we might be going skydiving or something. So some of them like start shitting their pants. I'm gonna jump out of this plane. <laughs> My boobies are gonna fly out. <laughs> that would be pretty wild. Mario, that would be, whoa, yeah, that would be pretty sick. I mean, wild. I mean, that would be, that would be wild. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> right, Aussie guy? Yeah, my Borbies. Yeah. Okay, so now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go! An expert? No. No way. Or a cock... Okay, I'll just tell you what happens because that part is way too fucking long. Car pulls up, sunroof opens, Lana pops out, which if you haven't seen the show, she's like the all-knowing, all-seeing robot cock block that punishes them if they, you know, make any physical contact. So they're all like, whoa, no, 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 ah, ah. And then the Aussie guy says this. He spent on fireworks. I didn't even get to like, pleasure myself. To say goodbye. I knew we could rely on him for some good ass statement to just bring this all home. Just looks directly into a girl's face and is not like, oh, I wish I kissed someone or I wish like, you know, maybe I've gotten a second base or whatever. He's like, I just wish I had jerked my shit clean off today to say goodbye to my own penis. Love that. Respect that. The only other real funny part of this last little part is that the blonde girl like looks like she's gonna die. Which, I mean, it's like, it kind of makes sense because like, she admitted to having a sex addiction. So, you know, like withdrawals and stuff. It's no joke, you know? All right, so that's episode one. Am I going to watch the rest of this? Nor. <laughs> and Godspeed if you do. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks.